So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video. And well, with the recent influx of new players coming to Elden Ring, as you can imagine, great game, plenty of new players, people are searching and looking for early game rune farms. Now, if you search early game rune farms into YouTube, you get rune farms that take place in an area, well, you can't really get to if you're a brand new player. But today, guys, I show you the best early game and these are things new players can use that still work after the 1.05 patch update how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe now before we push on guys today's video is sponsored by instant gaming if you guys do not have Elden ring or are looking for other gaming titles at a discounted price look no further than instantgaming.com Instant Gaming offers you all of the best gaming titles on every platform at a reduced cost. It's as simple as searching for your desired game choice, selecting the platform and hitting that buy button. You are then given that digital code to use on your platform. But wait, it gets better. Check out Instant Gaming via my link to be entered automatically into winning the game of your choice. It's that simple. Again, check out Instant Gaming via the link pinned at the top of the comments section and also at the top of the video description for all your gaming needs and gaming giveaways. Okay, so the first rune farm I'm going to check out. Uh, now, I'm, I'm going to cover this because it's actually incredible for new players to use, but I know early players may have already skipped past this part and killed this dragon. But if you haven't already, there's a dragon, as you can see right here on the screen. If you come to the Fort Farath Grace Point, which is right there, uh, you'll see there's a dragon here, a sleeping dragon, a gigantic dragon, which you can actually just go up to, kill, get 40, I can't remember exactly how many runes it is, I've done this so long ago, but you'll see it on the screen now. It's a good chunk of runes for a new player anyway. And while you can farm this dude over and over and is relatively straightforward, you can kill him probably every five minutes as a brand new player. Uh, but if he's leveled up a bit and got better weapons, you can kill him even quicker than this and farming over and over. But if you are a brand new player, what you actually need is a weapon which has that blood loss build up on it. You need this because it just makes farming him much, much quicker. Now there is a katana you can get straight away if you haven't started with a samurai. If you start as a samurai, you'll have this as your base weapon. But if you didn't start, you can actually pick this up more or less at the start of the game. And this is where you need to come to. So as you can see, this katana right here, the Uchi katana, uh, has that blood loss uh, build up on it. So you need to come to this cave right here, or catacombs right here, the death touch catacombs. So if you start the game, you start in the game basically there you come out here and i mean you just run up here guys it's so easy it's so easy and i've lost where i'm at no i haven't there i am it's right there let's come up let's come north and you'll come to it it won't take you too long if you got your horse and you should be good now if we go inside that cave which we're going to do now you simply just run in you don't have to fight anything like i said you can do this as a brand new player i've actually already made a video uh getting to a level 100 in under an hour uh, if I remember, I'll link it down below. But if you just go on my channel and search it, you'll find that video. And I actually use this, but it still works. So come into these catacombs, guys. And actually put my light on. Not that it's going to make much of a difference. So run down here. Run past these skeletons. Don't worry about them. Come under here. Go left under here. And then you'll see the sword actually go left again. And you'll see the sword right here on this body. It's right there. And you're good. Pick it up and you can run back out. If you've got aggro on you, you will have to run back out. If you haven't, you can just fast travel to a nearby grace. That's up to you. Get out of my way, boy. I'm going to have to run back out. And then from here, guys, once you're outside of the cave, you just want to go to that, that grace point where that dragon is at. I want to run out. I'll show you exactly where that is. Chasing me all the way out here, you mad mother. Okay, so let me just quickly go over here to lose the aggro. Okay, so. So the grace point, guys, you want to come to. Well, if you just follow this path, you probably won't have the map. But if you just run this way, guys, you'll come to where you need to be, which is right there. 
So if you go here, you'll see which is actually all the footage which I recorded previously. And you'll see this on the screen now. But if it comes to this grace point guys, turn around, you'll see a gigantic dragon asleep at the bottom of this hill if you haven't killed it already. All you do guys is go up to its tail and just, slay it. just keep chopping its tail. It will not, I repeat, it will not attack you. So you're just free to kill it. Then what you want to do guys is keep watching its health because if you've got that blood loss build up on, you'll notice every so many swipes you'll take a big chunk off. Uh, but once you get its health real low, you want to jump on your horse. So get on your horse and stand next to this dragon. Uh, and as soon as this happens guys, you just keep swiping, just keep swiping. And as soon as uh, you see the actual dragon start moving, that means he's died obviously, he's got that death animation. You want to run back to that grace point. Run as fast as you can back to that grace point. To get there in time guys and sit down, you'll get the runes. But when you stand back up, the dragon will be there for you to farm and kill again. So again guys, the faster you can kill this dude, get to the grace, sit down, stand back up. You can earn quite a lot of runes in doing this. But again guys, brand new players, you'll be able to do this. If you've progressed a little, there's a chance you may have seen a video on this and killed him already. But if you haven't, you can just farm this dude over and over. It is great. It's a great, great, probably the best early rune farm in the game. Okay, so next up guys, we have the ball. Now this takes place by Lenny's Rise, which is just basically northeast of Fort Fury Rise. You can come up here as well, early game. You won't get touched by anything, just run straight away through. But this is the greatest point we want to come to. A lot of times now since the 1.05 patch are so much better. But this is the greatest point you want to come to. You can see where I'm at. Again, if you start uh, just there, you're going to make your way up to here. Just here. So yeah, run down this hill, guys. There's actually a ball here you can farm. Yep, you heard that right. If you haven't seen this already, there's actually a ball here. That you'll see it will spawn in just dodge out the wave it on your horse it'll roll off the map guys and then you get that 2000 runes for it now if you run back up to the grace you can reset it or fast travel back there you can reset it run back down if you're playing on the series x now that, that it's so so much quicker to do that or you can go down the hill a bit further and there's a second ball here you can farm now i'm getting a little much i'm getting a little uh, more runes because i've got on my talisman which gives me a little boost but if you haven't got if you're a new player you won't have this which is fine uh, you'll come across that if you just search a golden scarab into youtube you can go you have, will have to defeat a boss for it it's not the easiest for a new player but hey now here's where the second ball fart spawns in so again almost killed me but don't matter there you go that'll fall off the map guys and you get another 2000 odd runes from here fast travel straight back and just rinse and repeat the actual farm it's real real easy now if you are a low player those balls will kill you so you need to get out of the way as fast as you can but hey you can do that over and over and over and you are good guys you are good okay so the last farm i'm going to cover today um is i'd say for new players i'd say use the dragon if you are a brand new player use the dragon for a bit then you can use the balls for a bit Get up to about level 50 or 60 level up your katana level up a weapon and then you want to come to this farm right here or this grace point the farm great bridge now if we go here guys you'll see there's actually enemies here probably about 20 in the surrounding area who actually give you a thousand runes each and there's a ton of them you can see there's one there and i'll show you i ain't going to kill them all i'll just show you exactly how many there is but like these guys, people, you can actually kill, especially if you go behind them as well. If you sneak up behind them, you can kill them basically in a couple of hits. But you can see the runes you get. And I mean, they're all over this area, guys. Another one there. Another one up there. Another one up there. You can see another one here. This is another one there. I mean, they are actually all over this area. So I just run to them. See, there's one here. See, there's one there right in front of me one here they're actually all over the area and if you actually cover the entire area there's a good 20 of them there and if you're quick enough you can kill them in probably five six minutes which is actually quite decent it's quite a, quite a quick farm if you are efficient in knowing exactly where they all are hey it's a great great farm for sure 
But again, they can be kind of hard hitting if you ain't got the right weapons and you ain't high enough for the level. But um, like that one, that's gonna that's what, another thing you want to keep an eye. Out. If they got gold eyes like that, they give you a boost. You can see I'm at level 308. You can see that damage it done to me. But you see that one there had gold eyes to so get even more runes from them. So that's something you want to keep an eye out for as well. Any enemy, you can see there's four of them down there, guys, you can kill. I mean, they're all over this place. They're all over this area. And again, each one of them gives you a minimum of a thousand. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, those are, in my opinion, the best early rune uh, farms in this game. I mean, there are a few others, but they just ain't as efficient as the ones I've showed you today. Another one there. I mean, these guys are actually all over this area. Another one there, another one there, two there actually, one here. So yeah, there's a lot of runes you can get from these guys. Another two there, another one there. So yeah, there's probably even more, there's probably 30 of these enemies here. And again, if you're fast, you're efficient, you can get behind them, sneak behind them and execute them. You'll kill them much, much easier and much, much quicker. Let me show you an execution. No, I can't show you an execution because I'm so loud. My horse is just a loud mother. Don't know why he dropped me. But hey. But there we have it, guys. There we have it. The best early room farms in the game, in my opinion. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.